Hey everyone, Noah here from Southern Illinois Bow Hunting, and today I'm here to show you guys another purchase. Yay! No, yeah, seriously, I did purchase this though. Um, it is a Simplicity Trail Cruiser or Snapper, because Simplicity is made by Snapper. Uh, I actually bought this from my pawpaw for three hundred dollars, and because uh, he said he wanted it out of the way, and I said, "Well, it's just three hundred dollars. Why not?" So I went ahead and I purchased this for myself uh, to make like a little, uh, I guess, a little something, my a little side by side for me and whatnot whenever I go uh, hunting and whatnot. Uh, with my four wheeler being down right now, I'm actually ordered some. Um, gaskets and stuff for it so hopefully i can get it fixed pretty soon uh hopefully like right around time for deer season i'm gonna go take my four-wheeler over to my pawpaws and have him do all that because i do not want to deal with that uh but this thing when i got it it wasn't the perfect either it's still not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was um whenever i bought it from them uh these seats right here they had some plat like there was these old seats, the original seats on it, but these plastic pieces, like it was just ripped off and it was just the plastic. So it was so uncomfortable. So I went ahead and I went online and I bought, uh, and I bought some more seats for it. And it, these are very, very comfortable seats, a lot more comfortable than it was before. Uh, let's see, what else did I do to it? Uh, my Paul Paul actually wired up a rear face light here, uh, but he had it to where he just had it running down here and just had the wires just sitting right here. He never did really wire it up. So I went ahead and wired it up myself. All that I did is I just ran it down through here and ran it underneath right through here and just zip tied it up and ended up running it up through here. And here it is right here. So when I turn it on, that'll turn on. Uh, but what's cool about this thing is actually, if you guys actually did see it, it as this thing right here it has the little power link onboard generator. It's pretty cool uh, for like whenever you build... If I decide to build like any uh, any uh, tree stands or whatnot from this, I know I can plug it in and use that rather than have to use all my battery powered stuff. Only thing is that yeah, it probably does need new tires pretty soon because you can see these things are kind of warped and stuff. But it's all right for now. The rears actually have trailer tires on it. If you look, uh, where are they at? Yep, two fifteens, sixties, fifteen, uh, and it's. T uh, 93t so i'm assuming that's trailer that means trailer either way it's if this isn't car if this isn't trailer tires it's car tire but yeah it's got i'm gonna end up getting these like my pulpa city has the rear rims for them i'll get him from that and i'll order me a set of tires from amazon and whatnot uh, they also come with this little hitch not this hitch part but my pulpa always gave me this part because it was a little i think it's a two inch not even two inch i think it's like a one inch uh insert so we ended up getting that and i just had had it but yeah, it's not absolutely not nowhere near perfect, but you know, it works for what little I had done. I, oh yeah, that's also something else. It has a worn wrench, or worn, I can't even speak, worn winch. So that's pretty cool. And this actually works quite well, actually. I'm gonna actually need to probably pull that up a little bit more so it gets, so it's not dangling and whatnot. But, and the lights didn't work at first, but I believe I got them fixed now. Yep, I do. I got them fixed right now. Uh, it's this, I don't know if it's a switch or it's the thing, but I ended up, that was wrong with it. And then down here, under here, when he was rewiring some stuff, uh, these wires, some wires down here for the headlights were loose. So it's fixed now, but yeah, it's got some, I said little problems here and there. Uh, for once, uh, when it's cold, it's fine shifting, but when it's warm and whatnot, it's like idles too high and it grinds going from forward really bad. In reverse, it does it a little bit, but it still grinds and I do not like that. So I have to start it in whatever gear it's, it's sitting in for it to actually be okay and whatnot. But I guess I can go ahead and start her up and drive her for a little bit and show you guys. It ride it literally rides exactly like a freaking lawnmower. It's a little more comfortable than a lawnmower, but not too much more, and it's very loud. So it's really meant for like this little garden lawn cart type thing, but you know. It's pretty cool either way.
So yeah, it's pretty cool either way. Can't even say it's pretty loud, but you know, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not fast by any means, but I don't need it to be fast. It's mainly a little yard cart for hunting, and I'm gonna use it for hunting and whatnot. So. I think it'll probably, it'll probably uh, grind, but we'll see. No, actually didn't grind too bad this time. But here, I'll show you the front. The front will grind going in the front gear. It always does. You hear it? I'm not gonna do that, so I'll turn it off. Turn it off and just put it in gear. And all you gotta do is start back up. There you go. It's kind of annoying, but I'll see what it is about that. I think the idle set too high, so I'll probably look into getting that idle fixed. And I think after that, it should be fine. too bad of a purchase as I said for 300 bucks it isn't bad and like I said it needs some work here and there but you know for 300 bucks it will need some work uh, but yeah it's just a quick little video to show you guys my little purchase here uh, my little side by side I mean, it's no Polaris Ranger but you know it isn't bad so uh, yeah hopefully I can get this up and doing good good like I said I can take this out to the farm and I probably will this uh, this um, deer season probably so I'll probably take it out to the farm um yeah but as for right now as i said i'm waiting for this to come in and once the part comes in for this bad boy right here this thing's gonna be fixed and so i can get it up and running again because i'm just driving this thing or riding this thing so i'll get it done and this thing i still haven't decided what i'm gonna do with it either way that has been the video so i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did enjoy it please hit the like button and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next